Hey, what's up guys? It's Mark Serrano from Mixtape Monkey, and I'm here to show you how to delete all of your tweets at once, yet again. My old video is outdated, so I'm going to show you how to do this in 2020. So, uh, we're going to go down here, click the link. I'll have a link in the description as well. And we're going to go back to Twitter Archive Eraser. They have updated the software, so now that it works for... Mac and Windows, and the platform's just a whole lot stronger than it used to be. Um, and from time to time, you'll find some sweet deals. So we're gonna go to pricing and figure out what's the best solution for you. Uh, free would work for a lot of people, but it only lets you delete up to a thousand tweets a week. Um, the basic plan does 3,000, advance, 10, and if you get the premium plan, you can delete as many tweets as you want. It is unlimited, and these licenses last for about a year. So I've already purchased the software, but basically you'll just throw in your username, choose your plan, buy now. Very simple process. And then we will download the software. So I'm on Mac now, so we're going to download the Mac version. So wait for it to uh, wait for it to install. We're gonna open it. And then we will drag to the applications folder to make sure we have it installed. close out of that and let's open up the Twitter archive eraser hit open now we're going to want to sign in once you've signed in we're going to hit delete tweets you can also uh, do other things but I'll show you that in another video so click here and what we want to do is upload our archive so there's a set of instructions on how to do that. You want to click the blue link up here and it'll take you to your settings, which will send you to your uh, Twitter, which you will probably have to log in and then log in again to authorize the uh, download. So basically you'll request it and it'll take about an hour for them to send the download to you. Uh, I've already went through the process, so I'm just going to do it real quick and you're just going to wait for this zip file to download. Uh, the, long, the more tweets you have, the longer it will take. So just keep that in mind. And we wait for this to finish. Okay, so it's supposed to be a zip file. So let's go to our preferences and let's go over to general. And it's this last button over here. It basically auto opens zip files and we don't want to do that right now. We want to upload our zip file. So we're going to just clear this out, exit, and let's try this again. And we're just going to wait again. And basically the software only allows the compressed zip file to be uploaded. So the, the open file just won't do us any good. So let's wait for this to finish. All right. So let's open the application back up. Let's load it. Let's try to find it. It was called Twitter. Yeah, here we go. Down here. And it'll load all of our tweets. Uh, break it down by year and month. So if you wanted to just delete all of your stuff in 2018 or 2017, you can do that. Uh, if you want to do just everything you did earlier this year, you can also do that as well. Um, they also have a select all or unselect all feature. I'm hitting select all. We're going to hit next. And then they're going to break down all of the tweets that we've chosen. So 
so yeah as you can see um, some of the features on the free version uh, won't allow us to use them so just sorting by retweets and favorites and even the search bar uh, we're unable to do that so if you pop up to the corner over here if we can hit license and then this is a place where we would insert our license code so I'm gonna go into my email and I'm gonna go ahead and find this license code it'll look like some HTML so we're just gonna copy this and we're going to paste it so click the button we validated it we can check it again all right so close and now the features have opened so I can search by Wow and all the times that I've used Wow in Twitter and you can also organize things by uh, favorites retweets retweets and favorites and they have different ways to organize these things by most retweets, least retweets, whatever you need. So yeah, you can go ahead and have fun and figure out uh, which things you want to delete um, based on keywords or just lack of popularity. But I'm going to go ahead and select all and I'm going to delete all of my tweets. And the process will take a while, and of course, the more tweets you have, the longer it will take. So we're just gonna go through this. All right, we're finishing up. There we go. 3,200 tweets deleted, and you can make another tweet about it if you want, but we're not. So let's pop into my Twitter, and let's see the progress. And as you can see, there are no tweets. says I haven't tweeted and um, as far as the tweet count goes um, sometimes it'll say you have more tweets than you do uh, right here it says that I have zero tweets but as soon as I tweeted after this video uh, it said I had 33 tweets uh, I didn't have 33 tweets it just says I did and sometimes that number will be messed up um, so you won't always get the zero tweets, but they will be deleted. So there's no worries of it actually showing back up. That's just how it is sometimes. But yeah, that is basically the whole process of deleting all of your tweets. Uh, this software is really powerful and it would be really good if you are looking for a new job or maybe you're trying to sell your Twitter, whatever the case may be. Uh, but if you do have thousands and thousands of tweets, instead of going one by one and spending weeks on that, you could just do it all within an hour or two with this software. So yeah, in the next video, I will show you how to delete your DMs and your favorites with the software. Um, but till then, subscribe, like if you like it or if it helped, and comment below any questions you might have on the process of this. Uh, but yeah, that's all for now. Uh, thank you guys again for watching my videos and uh, appreciate the support.